What's up everybody, MonkeyDo22 here with another help tutorial tip as part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your avatar on Xbox One and how to take a screenshot or a gamer picture using your avatar. So the first thing that you want to do is on the Xbox One dashboard, go ahead and slide left and go up to your profile here. Select A on the drop down and go to My Profile. Once you go to My Profile here, it's going to load up your details here. But you, what you want to do is go down to Customize Profile and then hit A. Once you hit A on your Customize Profile, you're going to want to go to Edit Avatar. And it's going to open up the Avatar app on Xbox One. Alternatively, you could just open up the Avatar app on Xbox One without going through the My Profile steps. But this is just the easiest way that i found to access it. Um, so this is the Avatar Editor here. Uh, you can see uh, your Avatar here. You can scroll them around by hitting the left bumpers and the right bumpers. Uh, you can dress them up in different uh, outfits if you've purchased different ones. Sometimes there is uh, Avatar Rewards on Xbox 360 that are here that you can use. I've got a Woody costume. I've got a Santa costume. I've got Rebel Snow Speeder, Ghostbusters Jumpsuit. I think I like the jumpsuit, so let's go ahead and use that one here. Um, you'll hit the X button to save, and that's going to go ahead and save this uh, current costume onto your avatar. The other thing you can do as well is you can actually... Oops, The other thing you can do as well, of course, is you can also edit uh, earrings, glasses, rings, hats, and more. Uh, different things like that if you don't want to use just like a dress up. So say you just want to use, uh, you know, a helmet or something like that. You could just pick that. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and try the, uh, I kind of like the, the mascot masks here. Uh, this is from Monday Night Combat back in the day. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. And let's go ahead and change the top too. Uh, we got a couple of different ones here. I mean, like I said, there's a bunch of avatar awards that you could get. Uh, you can also purchase them from the avatar store. Uh, let's do some explosion, man. Or actually, no, let's do Monday Night Combat. Let's just complete the, uh, the theme here. Uh, so we've got that. And then, of course, you can do the bottoms as well. So you've got the different, uh, uh, avatar awards here, like you can see. Uh, you've got everything else, of course. You get a great deal of selection. Uh, just from the free ones as well. Um, so you've got like surfer shorts, you got uh, pants, you've got uh, flares, you've got camos. I like some denim jeans, so let's use those. Uh, and then also we're going to change the shoes. Uh, right now I got skates on. We probably need to change that. Uh, we got some boots, we got some freak slippers, we got some royal boots, some punk boots, some trainers. Uh, I kind of like those. Let's go with that. Um, and then let's take a look here. Uh, if you go to the get more styles, uh, this is where you're going to go ahead. Oh, let's go ahead and continue that. That's all right. Um, you'd want to save it first, obviously, but this is the avatar store and this is where you can purchase different items, uh, from game styles to lifestyles. One quick tip though, uh, if you go to top selling, um, basically it's going to show you what is the most popular avatar items. And nine times out of ten, you're going to find a lot of free ones up here. So we got a free Xbox One t-shirt. you got a Marine Corps t-shirt. You've got some Skittles here. Uh, you got some dog tags. Um, some sunglasses. I mean, you can find a lot of free stuff here. So it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. But say we're done here. Let's say we want to go ahead and use this now as our gamer picture. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the menu button on your controller. And then you're going to go to take a photo. Now, when you go to take a photo here, you're going to have a bunch of different options. Of course, you can rotate using the uh, uh, left bumper and the right bumper. You can change those. Um, using the L trigger and the R trigger, you can zoom in and out. Um, if you're using the right thumbstick, you can kind of reposition. And, of course, your left thumbstick is going to be the navigation here. So the first thing you typically want to do is you want to pick a background. Um, so if you come down here and go to background, you'll see a bunch of different backgrounds. So you've got the 15 years of Xbox Live. Uh, we've got the uh, kind of like a little purplish theme. A uh, bunch of different backdrops here. you got some camos. Um, all sorts of different things that you can pick from here. And, of course, they're all free. Um, and then you got some solid backgrounds as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use... Let's see what looks good here. Maybe something dark. That kind of works. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so like I said, you can manipulate around by using the different thumbsticks and the different buttons here. Uh, typically what I like to do is I try to zoom in a little bit here and then kind of play around with it. Now, the other thing you can do is you, if you have a prop set up, you can, you know, use an animated prop here and then you can take a picture of that. 
and you can actually go by frame by frame by frame. You can see I have a little monkey here that I always use in my uh, pictures. I'm always a big fan of doing those. Um, so basically you can kind of maneuver around, you can kind of pick what you want. I kind of like that one there. So let's say that you've done your background, you've got the picture exactly how you want it. Well, how do you capture it? Well, if you look in the lower right corner here, uh, right behind my head, I'm going to move a little bit. Uh, there's a capture button right here. Um, that's the view button on your controller. So if you hit the view button, boom, captured. Now this is your photo preview of what your gamer tag or gamer card will look like rather. So you can go ahead and right here, you can save that as a gamer pick. You can go full screen with it to preview, or you can go ahead and back out of it, of course. Um, so that's that. Um, basically, if you want to capture it, you can go ahead and save it as your gamer pick and you're done. And that's it. It's going to save it. And it usually takes a couple of seconds. Uh, but as soon as that's done, uh, you're going to see it on Xbox Live fairly quickly. You can already see it right up here in the top right corner. So now you're probably asking yourself, that's great. I can use my avatar as a gamer picture on Xbox One, and I can even change it on Xbox One. But what if you want to change your gamer picture and you're not on your console right now? What if you're on your Windows 10 PC? I got an answer for you as well. What you got to do is just open up your Xbox app on your PC. And it's going to go ahead and bring up your menus here. You want to select your gamer picture and it's going to go ahead and bring up your profile. Then you want to click on customize from the customize screen here. You want to go ahead and hover over your avatar where it says customize your avatar. Once you left click on that, it's going to open up the avatar app on windows 10. And then you're going to have your avatar app. Now, as you remember, we just customized it. We went ahead and go ahead and put the uh, Ghostbusters outfit on. You can kind of manipulate them around by just left click and holding and you can drag it around. You can kind of look at the back and the front. You can use your scroll wheel to kind of manipulate as well. Now, just like on the Xbox console, you've got the dress ups, you've got the different kind of purchases and avatar awards. Let's go ahead and change them to the Master Chief. I like the Master Chief. Let's go ahead and change them to that. Um, you can, of course, like I mentioned in the, on the Xbox one, you can change the different kinds of things from the hats and all that different kind of stuff as well. But now let's say you want to go ahead and do the same thing. You want to create a gamer picture using your avatar on the PC. See the little camera icon here. Go ahead and click, take a photo. Now, the cool thing about the app on windows 10 is you have a couple more options. You can actually change the picture size. Now the picture size, you can use just a gamer pick. You can actually make it a full 1080p high def picture, 720p, a 640 by 480, and all the different kind of combinations in between. Because maybe what you want to do is you want to use this for maybe a YouTube banner. Maybe you want to use it for like a forum signature and things like that. So that's why they give you a couple different options here. But what you, what you want to do is you want to select which one you want. And then of course, just take the picture by clicking capture. Boop, done. And there you go. You have the option to go full screen. You can share that with your friends. You can do the uh, send it via email. You could send it to yourself by that. You could also just click save the photo and it'll go ahead and save it locally to your hard drive. You can do that. Um, you can also right here, save as gamer picture. And that's what we want to do. So you go ahead and click that. And in a few seconds, it'll say success. Your gamer pick's been saved. You can close that out. And then you're all done with that. And then as soon as you come over here, usually it takes a second to update. Uh, but usually it'll be right here and then you're going to be good to go with that. And as you can see already up here in the top right corner, we've got our new gamer picture on Xbox one. So that's it. Simple, quick, and easy. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment in the section below. I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible to help you get you up and running using your Xbox avatar as your gamer pick on Xbox one or windows 10. I hope this video was helpful to help you change your gamer picture to your Xbox avatar and customize your avatar as well on Xbox One and Windows 10. With that said, I'm MonkeyDo22 as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. You can check us out at community.xbox.com slash ambassadors. And if you have any other ideas or suggestions for videos, please let me know in the comments section. Please give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you, as well as subscribe as I post Xbox support content, Let's Plays, and other different content like that uh, weekly, if not daily. So be sure to subscribe for more as that. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.